I'm Deacon Patrick. Welcome to the Lexio Divina in preparation for next Sunday's Mass, the second Sunday of Advent. We'll read through the Gospel once, straight through. Then we'll read it a second time with questions to help us enter God's Word and to open ourselves to God's Word entering into us. Take a moment to prepare yourself to receive God's Word. Sit so you're relaxed. Take a deep breath. Let your feet rest flat on the floor. Let your arms settle at your side. Close your eyes. Take another deep breath. Breathing in God's grace. As it flows in, feel it going to where the tension is in your shoulders, neck, arms, and legs. Hold it. Feel God's grace in your breath melt away the tension. And exhale. Feel the tension flowing out and away so it's gone. Keep breathing slowly and deeply. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey and this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. As we go through this the second time, picture yourself being called by God to serve in a way similar to John the Baptist, announcing the coming of the Lord, preparing the way so that Christ can be revealed to the world and the world might be ready to receive. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Gospel begins with a story of us responding to the gospel. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, we turn to messages from thousands of years ago, to the wisdom of God speaking to our Hebrew ancestors. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. What is the desert in our own lives? It's in the desert that we come face to face with God, that we're stripped bare, that we find ourselves wearing odd clothing, perhaps eating odd things. Is it disability? Life circumstances? What is your desert? John the Baptist appeared in the desert proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him, and they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John responded to the call with action, revealing the God's kingdom to others. 
How is it God's calling you to build and reveal God's kingdom to others around you? John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. <laughs> Responding to God's call doesn't always mean we look uh, the way the world expects us to. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. When God speaks through us, it's God who does the speaking, not us. If we think it's us, then we fall into original sin. If we know that it's God, then we're breathing divinity in and out cleansing ourselves, and moving forward in ways we can't imagine. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Have a blessed week. May this experience with the Gospel Build and nurture you as you go through the week and prepare for next Sunday. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>